Start with if you're cooking in the kitchen and you don't and you're following a recipe, but you don't have a recipe book holder, ah. you can make one yourself. It's very simple. Over here, just use a trouser hanger. We've all got ah. these. If you've got a, a, a handle on your cupboard, you can hang that from. There you go. What a good idea. It's good, isn't it? It's quite a posh one we've got here, but you can I just like use one of the plasticky much. ones as well. The heart of survival is resourcefulness. Yes. So just with a humble thing of chewing gum. Uh, and a battery, you can take this off. We're going to have to kind of expedite the process a little bit, but you see you've got silver foil on that. Yeah. Okay, so if we cut that down in a way that it basically ends up looking like this, we get a battery out of, uh, you know, whatever you got, your head So it's got to have that arch shape. So it's got to have, it needs a little kind of bit where it's going to get really hot and all the current is going to get concentrated through that one bit. Okay. But then... And again, bear with me because this doesn't, this, you know, this is trying to do something super quick. Yeah, no, that's right. With shaky, right. nervous hands, but we'll, we'll get there. Okay. So you put it on the two. Oh, oh my, my God. God! There we go. Yeah, go. Lucky first time. Bear but... with you. That was unbelievable. <laughs> That but it's just, it's just connecting, <laughs> you know, you, you can kind of feel That's it, actually. Quite, if you um, connect the terminals, you can even, even on this bit, you'll feel it Is getting, that about to burst no, into No, but you'll feel that, just feel that. It's getting... Oh, I, I can't, it's I getting, can't. It's smoking. Yeah, because it's, get, it's getting yeah, super yeah. hot. This is hot. You know, so it's just using that, and you can use anything for the tinder, you know, dried grass, fluff from your belly button. Uh, let's go to Chinese takeaway. Now, some come in little foil boxes, some in the plastic ones that mm. you can microwave. But if you're getting some noodles like this, did you know they're actually designed to not just be boxes, they are plates. They're designed to be plates. So what you do is you take the metal handle off and then mm. I'm useless with chopsticks. I cannot do it. So I will have the walk of shame and ask for a fork. You can get but... those things you stick on the ends. Have uh, you, you seen those? I, I still can't use them. What? They're just so hopeless. So the idea is undo the, the metal handle yeah. and then undo the actual box because you're not digging around for the stuff at the bottom. Yes, you obviously can use the carton like that, but really, for me, I actually prefer opening it up and having a plate Is that what that's actually meant to do? designed to open up and then you can dig in, especially me with my fork, it's so much easier. And then you get all this stuff mixed together very easily. What can wow. you use this for? There's bound to be something <laughs> iPad holder. A shoe rack. <laughs> it's a shoe rack. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so I'm going to show you another way of putting your duvet into your duvet cover. So here we've got a duvet laid on the bed and underneath I've laid out the duvet cover inside out. You can see there's the hemlet, so it's inside out and there's the, the, the opening there. So you can either use a zip one or a button one. Holly, I'm going to ask for your help to do yeah. this. You can do this on your own, it's just for the purposes of this, we're going to make it a little bit quicker. Okay. So what we do is, that's it, roll it. So roll it like a big burrito, like a big sausage, all the way to so the, the end. the sheet's rolled all the way over yeah, the covers. Yeah, stop there and then just pull it back a bit, that's it, like that. Now, put your hand inside the zip opening, okay, mm. until you can get your hand, just see what I'm doing. What are you doing? I'm grabbing the, the corner. corner. Yeah. yeah. Have you got that? Yeah. And then grab the, the, yeah. the end of the duvet and then also just grab the roll, yeah. right, and pull it through. So it's like that. Yeah. Yeah, you done yeah. that? No, 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 no. That's it like that. All right. Now, let's flip it around so we can see the zip. Hold around like that, there you go. Now you can see the zip. Zip it up and zip it towards, zip it towards me. What the hell is going on here? Now you go. we have a sausage. Right, we do. But now what we're going to do is we're going to take that end and the, op the other part of the duvet is just tucked inside. Oh. So if you get in there, and separate the two like that. You see that? Yeah. And then roll it, roll it back. I oh don't know, I think, I think with a bit of practice, that's a really good idea. Yeah, it's... it's that worked, and yeah. I didn't think it was going there you to. go, ta-da! So this is uh, just something very simple. How about if, you, if you're having chips and dips? So crisps with some kind of nice dip. Put a wine glass <gasps> in the middle of the bowl, fill it with whatever you're going to be dipping. I love it. it around. It's really good, isn't it? That's the best idea so ever. So simple, so there it is. It's just a, just a <gasps> wine glass. Man. There's a really simple thing you can do. Drop the battery onto a hard surface. If it bounces more than once, it's dead. If it bounces more, more than, than once, once. So it's this. dead. Ready? Okay. That's I dead. That because that bounced. If it bounces more than once, it's dead. Oh, OK, yeah, that bounced more than once. Ready? Oh! That's not dead. Have That's a go. So... It's amazing. Let's do, Whoa! Two. Let's do two at the same That's time. It. Go. Oh! You see? Isn't it good? I guarantee we are all going to be using that from here on in. How did we not know that 
That's incredible. Isn't it? Now. Nice. Yeah, nice, Good. isn't it? That's very handy. All right, well, let's see. If you're out and about, okay, you've bought something, you're with the kids, it's something fun to do. If you're going to turn that lid into a spoon, I am that's turning ridiculous. that lid into a spoon. You might as well just cut that out of the middle, man, just pour it down your neck. And so are you. Right, one each. Here you go. Right, so take foil lids, only works with foil. No I'll one do does the it. same. Put it on the table. There you go. So, there, that little bit that you normally grab hold of, first of all, yeah. that is your actual spoon. So, fold the other half. In half Nobody like that, does like that. this. Fold it this way around. This is ace. If you're on the go somewhere and you literally don't have a spoon or the thing you've bought doesn't come with one. Really? Yeah. And then this part is your actual spoon part. So hold that with your thumb. Yeah. yeah. And then where your thumb kind of finishes, crimp it in and then twist it. Can you see what I'm doing? Twist, oh twist, my gosh, twist, this twist, is quite twist, clever. twist, twist, twist. And there's my spoon. And I'll prove it. Look, it's great. Do you do this? Do you do this? I mean, I th it's a really clever thing on, like, I guess, see? kids' lunch boxes. Mm -hmm. it's just when you've really got the mini ones. ones. It's good fun as well. Notoriously filthy. People don't realise really how filthy they are, especially in offices and things, using other people using... Uh, yeah. Oh, don't. It makes me feel it's horrible. Yeah. Nip it? to the loo, back to your desk. Stop it! OK. Uh, so, <laughs> here's what you use. Uh, one of the ways of, of cleaning between the keys, because you can't get liquid in there, you just, just, just a no-no. Uh, sticky notes. So let's take a sticky note, get the sticky end. You know what they're really called. Note. I know. And then just place it between the keys and give it a good rub around. And then it'll pick up all the dust and fluff and yeah. hair and stuff that's on there. Imagine you, you need to use a fair few. Okay. Can you lift that up? Because can you see? Can you see? Oh, there's hair. hair on there. Look at that. Oh, it's hair. Yeah, hair, dust. It looks like there's bits of food. Oh, I hope that's food. <laughs> It's really oh, no, that's amazing! <laughs> Whose keyboard is this? Basically, this is just a very quick hack to be able to wipe away the marks, but not the actual paint itself. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. So, so what do you what use? Don't do? So, basically, I use a cap full of my favourite softener. Um, you can use any softener, whatever it is that you use in your washing. Yeah. Um, into a bowl of water. Fabric conditioner. Yes. OK. Fabric conditioner. Yeah. Um, so what you'll do is you would then mix that up, and you would use a scourer type sponge. Yeah. Does that one have a name? Because you <laughs> like course. to name your products. I do. This is um, this is Minky. Minky. Oh, hello, Minky. But this is welcome, Minky. Um, Minky, basically, as I said, one side scourer, one side's a honeycomb, and it works for everything. I use him in every room. I've got about ten of the things. Mm. Um, currently sold out in the UK completely. Because oh. of you, probably. Can't believe it. So but... how do you? Which side do you use? For so the door? for the door, basically, you would use the scourer side for the door. Mm. So any marks like this, you'd literally circular motion. Circular motions, and it lifts it straight up without removing any of the paint. They're very good. Okay. And your door smells gorgeous. Oh God, it really does. And you could be sort of delving through for your oh, lids. The it's hours just... I've spent trying to it sort that out. It drives me up the wall. <laughs> it really does. Look, so all you need to use is a magazine ah. rack. That's a magazine rack put on That's the inside of the door. And there's your lids, all nicely stored and that Good, way. very that good. That is a very good idea. I never didn't even know this was a real cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> stuff in it. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever Who would have thought when I was doing the washing up? You've never done the washing no, up. No, what's in this one? Oh, no, that isn't a real that, that cupboard. Open. <laughs> <laughs> Blocking the sink. So this is a way to not only unblock the sink, but to stop any sort of unwanted smells and things like that, because the amount of stuff that goes down the plug, it's not great. So with this, you would literally use a cup full of... Um, like bicarb or something? No, this one is soda crystals. Oh. oh. So soda crystals, um, it's fantastic stuff. You can use it for a lot, actually, to be fair. There's lots of tips and hacks online. But you would use a cup full of this. You would literally pour this down the plug hole. Mm -hmm. Once you've done that, you would then use the same amount of white vinegar. You should just pour this down the plug hole as well. That will then mix together. It will it will fuzz. It will bubble. Oh, you can it hear it. I know. I get Very good. And how long would you leave that down there? Um, up to thirty minutes. And then you can use it as a normal linen. Yes. Everything will be clear. Yeah. So oh. lemon juice. Lemon juice is great for getting the stuff off that has been baked on inside. So and also really natural. You're not putting loads of horrible chemicals in there to get yeah, this off. Yeah, totally. So get a lemon, get a whole lemon, squeeze the juice out, pour the juice into the water, and then actually, when you finish with the lemons as well, just shove the rind in, and then you put that on into the microwave for three minutes. Oh, I thought you were about to use it to clean it with. No, it, what it has to do, it has to cook, basically. So, oh, we're going to leave that running. Hang on. Oh, oh, here you no. go. Now where are you? What the... There we How go. How long have you got to put it on for? There we go, three minutes. Let's put it on for three. There we are. 
Right, so let's leave that running. Okay. Open I don't up. believe this is going to work. Well, it should now have lifted stuff that is caked on. So if I'm rubbing, oh, on so here, it makes it easy to clean. It makes it, so then you have to wipe it, but it means that you're. It, it also smells nicely. Look, see, this stuff here has been baked on because we've been doing it all morning, and it will lift away. If you find that some things are still stubborn, do it again. Repeat it again. Yeah, fresh lemon. Do it again. And essentially, it's the steam that's going in and loosening everything. Yeah, loosens. So it's the acid in the lemon. It runs to work here in these shoes. Oh, so, nice. Um, again. Bicarb. So sprinkle some bicarb on the insoles and it'll stop it smelling. I did do a smell Hang on test a second. Today. Hang on a second. So just you leave it in. it in there? Yeah, just sprinkle it in. Bicarb and it'll just soda stops sweaty feet. Yeah, again, but then how again long it's a deodorizer. Sit? Okay, so I can see the powders in there. Yeah, I mean, I, we, we've, we've, put we've, we've put quite a lot in, but once you're wearing it, it soaks into the actual So inside. you don't bang, you don't, you just. No, I leave it in. Wear it again and it'll soak into the insole. So there is no way I'm sm smelling his shoes, so I'll do that <laughs> right now. Okay. Uh, now, I did promise I'd tell you how to uh, collect the dust when you are drilling. So yeah. you can use your vacuum cleaner. When you're drilling next, think about <laughs> this, OK? Well, look, here we go. This is what you need. You just need sticky notes, like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this sticky note, I have to put it back down on the table, and you just fold it, yeah? So fold it up to where the sticky section is, take it off, and then stick it to where you want to do a little bit of drilling. There we go. So I'll just fold that flat like that, and then I'll drill into this piece here. Little oh, look at that! Oh, there you go. So, you can see there, I'm going to tip it, it might fall just so the purposes that the viewers at home can see. There's your dust collected on there. Oh, really, really handy. It's like a paper shelf. It's like a paper it? shelf. That's that exactly moth would have. We are. So, if you're cooking two different dishes, especially if one is vegetarian and one isn't, or if you've got two very different flavours, you don't want to mix your spoons around. You know when you finish, you're like, what do I do with my spoon? Put it down, make the yeah. workshop dirty, and then you might end up using the wrong spoon in the wrong pan. Just use the hole that the pan hangs up from to do that. <gasps> Here you go. Do you oh, do that? Oh my god. Has anyone seen this before? Why have we never done this? It's so simple. Right spoon I, with the right It drives me pan. mad it's when you brilliant. get something out and you think, oh, I've just wiped the surfaces, I'm going to put that straight down. And then you think, well, I'll get a plate out to put it on, but then you've got yeah. to wash that up as well. Right spoon with the right pan. You can also do it with spatulas as well. There you go. It's really simple and it's just, it does That's change the way really you, you cook in the kitchen. Take your vacuum and put a pair of tights over the end. Ah, so still get the suction, clever. but it won't go up inside. I'm scared what you're going to find in that rug. So let's, oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so let's put this on, and I'm searching for an earring. So it is actually doing its job. It is, it is actually trying. To, there you go. Look. So let's turn that off. In there is an earring. And so there that's it an is. earring that was in there. It's good, isn't it? That's yeah, really, really good. handy. I'll come back. Really? It's called point A, point B, point C. There. Yeah. So roughly point A is about there. There. Point B is... And then I don't know what to do. About there, and I'll show it soon. Point C will have down there. So it's in a line. So your left hand, pinch point A. Yep. Right hand, point B. Yeah. Keep your left hand there. Move point B over the top to point C. Grip both point A and point C, and now lift it up and pull point A through. That's it. <gasps> Lay that bit it's flat. It's actually happening! Nearly. Fold it over. And then... Fold it over. Nearly done. Oh. Yeah, yeah, almost there. Bit of practice. <laughs> That's really good. That's Practicing brilliant. will be there. It's so quick. It's so that quick and so brilliant. easy. Just but you do have to that. master it, but it doesn't take long. And let's talk about pet hairs. If you've got pet hairs on your carpet mm -hmm. or on your sofa, or even actually in the in the car, if you let your your, your dog or cat mm -hmm. ride in the car, rubber gloves. Rubber gloves are great for this. So it's just the friction that they build up while you're sweeping you up. Just... This is real cat hair that we've got here, and it just does the job. It's Brilliant. No, yes, no cats were harmed in the uh, collecting <laughs> of this fur. It's just from somebody on the team and from their, their sofa. Simple. So it's quite simple. If it's really stubborn, you can actually dampen the glove a bit and, that and do really that, and then you put that in the in the bowl of water. So I assume that'll work on on some sofa material. Oh, that's yeah, it's great for like chairs that. and sofas. Yeah. Okay. But if it has just shrunk, you can absolutely do something about it. Put it in tepid water with two tablespoons of either baby shampoo or fabric softener, leave it there for 30 minutes. This is the same for jeans that have become tight, by the way. Mm. And then gently put it on your cork board that you happen to have lying around and spread it out gently and pin oh. it in shape. This won't harm the fabric and you've got to keep coming back to it. You're going to air dry it and you just pull it gently. If you want width, so you're like sort of this. relaxing that tension. You're that's getting happening. it back to where it wants to be oh. and it'll be absolutely fine that's and leave it like that. <laughs>